Dancing lights a celestial spectacle. The night sky, a vast canvas of darkness, explodes with vibrant hues. Green, blue, and red curtains of light dance across the horizon. This is the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, a celestial ballet captivating humanity for centuries. For millennia, cultures around the world have woven myths and legends around these dancing lights. Ancient Norse mythology believed them to be reflections off the armor of the Valkyries. Indigenous Sami people in Northern Europe saw them as the spirits of their ancestors. Today, science offers a more grounded explanation. We know the auroras result from charged particles from the sun colliding with Earth's atmosphere. This interaction creates a mesmerizing light show. The Science of the Northern Lights Unveiling the Magic Science provides a compelling explanation for the aurora borealis. It starts with the sun, our very own star, which constantly ejects charged particles into space in a phenomenon called solar wind. When the solar wind reaches Earth it interacts with our planet's magnetic field, a protective shield surrounding us. Earth's magnetic field is weaker at the poles, allowing some of the charged particles to penetrate our atmosphere. These particles then collide with atoms and molecules in the atmosphere, primarily oxygen and nitrogen. These collisions excite the atoms, causing them to release energy in the form of light. This light is what we perceive as the mesmerizing colors of the auroras. The varying colors are determined by the altitude and type of atoms involved in the collisions. Green, the most common color, is produced by oxygen at lower altitudes. Blue and purple hues result from nitrogen. Whispers in the wind conspiracy takes root. While the scientific explanation for the aurora borealis is widely accepted, a growing number of people are questioning the official narrative. Intriguing coincidences and unexplained events surrounding the auroras have fueled speculation about possible human involvement. One of the primary drivers behind these conspiracy theories is the increasing frequency and intensity of auroral displays in recent times. Some argue that the changes in the auroras are too drastic to be solely attributed to natural variations. Adding fuel to the fire are anecdotal accounts from individuals living in high-latitude regions where auroras are frequently observed. Many claim to have witnessed unusual sounds accompanying the auroras, described as crackling, hissing or even booming noises. Project Blue Beam and the Aurora Agenda Fact or Fiction This theory suggests that the auroras are not natural but rather holographic projections created by advanced technology. The supposed goal of this elaborate hoax is to manipulate global consciousness and usher in a new world order. Proponents point to the increasing sophistication of holographic technology as evidence. They argue that governments could possess the capability to project realistic images onto the sky, mimicking the appearance of the aurora borealis. Adding to the intrigue surrounding the aurora borealis are numerous reports of strange occurrences associated with the phenomenon. These accounts describe unusual events that seem to defy conventional explanation. One common theme is the perception of sound accompanying the auroras. While science suggests that the auroras themselves do not produce sound audible to humans, many individuals claim to have heard distinct noises during intense auroral displays. Another recurring theme is the observation of unusual movements and patterns within the auroras. Some witnesses describe seeing shapes, symbols, or even faces forming within the auroras. Furthermore, there are numerous reports of animals behaving strangely during auroral events. Among the various theories linking the aurora borealis to human activity, one stands out, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, HARP. Located in Alaska, HARP is a research facility equipped with an array of high-powered antennas capable of transmitting radio waves into the Earth's ionosphere. The official purpose of HARP is to study the ionosphere for scientific purposes. However, HARP has been the subject of significant controversy and speculation. Some researchers have observed auroras appearing directly above the HARP facility, exhibiting unique characteristics. These observations have led to speculation that HARP's transmissions might be influencing the auroras. While the scientific community maintains that HARP's activities are not capable of producing dramatic effects, the facility's potential for manipulating the ionosphere has made it a focal point for speculation. Theories surrounding government involvement in the Aurora Borealis are often fueled by what is not said, rather than what is. A lack of transparency from official sources has created a breeding ground for speculation and distrust. 
When faced with questions about the auroras, government agencies often respond with vague denials or outright silence. This lack of transparency has led some to believe that governments are hiding information about the true nature of the auroras. The possibility that the auroras could be used for military or intelligence purposes is a recurring theme in conspiracy theories. This cycle of secrecy and distrust has created a fertile ground for conspiracy theories to flourish. As long as questions remain unanswered, the quest for truth regarding the Aurora Borealis and its potential connection to government projects will continue. Researchers are delving into the mysteries surrounding the Auroras, seeking to separate fact from fiction. One avenue of investigation focuses on analyzing publicly available data related to auroral activity in government research programs. Another approach involves collecting and analyzing first-hand accounts from individuals who claim to have witnessed unusual auroral displays. Some researchers are employing freedom of information requests to access classified documents related to auroral research. The ongoing debate surrounding the Aurora Borealis highlights the complex relationship between science, government, and public perception. The scientific explanation for the auroras is well established and supported by decades of research. However, the persistence of conspiracy theories and the lack of transparency from official sources have eroded trust in the scientific community. This climate of uncertainty has the potential to hinder scientific progress by undermining public support for research. Despite these challenges, the debate presents an opportunity for open dialogue and critical thinking. By engaging with diverse perspectives, we can cultivate a more informed and discerning public discourse. Regardless of one's stance on the conspiracy theories, the Aurora Borealis remains one of nature's most awe-inspiring spectacles. These celestial displays have captivated the human imagination for centuries, inspiring countless myths, legends, and works of art. They serve as a reminder of the vastness and mystery of the universe. For many, witnessing the auroras is a transformative experience evoking a sense of wonder and awe. Beyond their aesthetic appeal, the auroras also represent a scientific puzzle that continues to intrigue researchers. The aurora borealis embodies both the wonder and the pursuit of knowledge that define the human spirit. The aurora borealis, a celestial ballet of light and color, continues to captivate and intrigue us. While science offers a compelling explanation for their existence, the persistence of unexplained phenomena keeps the door open to alternative theories. Whether we view the auroras through the lens of science, conspiracy, or simple wonder, it is undeniable that they hold a special place in our collective imagination. They remind us of the vastness of the universe and the mysteries it holds. The quest to understand the Aurora Borealis is a journey of discovery, challenging our assumptions and expanding our understanding. The Aurora Borealis serves as a constant reminder that the universe is full of wonders yet to be discovered.